Hey there guys, and in this video I'm going to show you how to beat the Deadly Sin Envy on Apocalyptic Difficulty in Darksiders 3. Guys, welcome to Gacy Network, and we're here right before the boss fight where you fight Envy. So first I will let you show her the moveset, and then after I will show you the strategy on beating her very easily on this difficulty. Although guys, she is the first boss, so she shouldn't be down of a problem, but it is handy to know how to beat her nonetheless. Okay, there is one golden rule I share with you guys and that is that you should never lock on in this game because it is pretty bad and you are like less mobile with your movement, so better not to lock on. So now let's talk about her moveset. In the first stage she will only do a one melee attack and she may do a two combo melee attack but she rarely does this and if you perfect dodge the first one she's one of those bosses that the combo will stop there. She will also cast a magic beam from above to hit you with this and it is also easy to see it coming because you can see where it lands when she's casting it so simply dodge to the side and for the last attacks in this phase she will do a ground slam where she will cast a magic wave around her where she slammed the ground. So for his next stage where you get her to two third of her health there will be a small cutscene where she breaks the floor with you and then she will do a charge AoE attack that can hit pretty hard. But as soon as she can move, you want to climb up the platforms near the wall and then get to her before she does this AoE attack and do a 3 hit combo in the air to knock her on the ground and after you can do a full combo because she will always follow up with her ground slams after she is knocked on the ground. But now she will do 2 ground slams instead of just 1 and in the second stage she will now dash away from you if you're close and follow it up with a casting magic beam from above. Now. When you get her to one third of her health, she will break the floor again and will charge the AoE attack. So do the same here, get on the platforms and get to her and do the three hit combo in the air to knock her on the ground and then do a full combo before she is going to do her ground slams. And now in this stage, she will do three ground slams instead of two. So guys, now I showed you the moveset. Now I will show you the full fight and talk about the strategy for beating her very easily. So guys, first when you enter the arena, she's always going to do that uh, magic beam, even though after a cutscene, but I just killed myself because I wanted to show you the full fight. But now, what I simply do here is just wait her for to attack, and then just simply dodge the attack, and then I choose just do the uh, perfect dodge attack, or I just simply just attack a little bit, but... That is generally what I do in this fight, just wait until she attacks and then just dodge it. There's not really much to do in this fight, but after the second stage here, um, she's going to discharge, just go to the left and jump off, uh, jump on the platforms to get to her. So when you have done that, just do the three hit combo in the air and then just follow quickly it up with a full combo to get the most damage in. And she's always going to follow this up with her uh, ground slam, so you have to be careful with that. They're very easy to dodge though, just jump over them. But like you saw before, when she's just above your head, it's kind of hard when, when to dodge it, so be careful for that. But in the second stage, the only new attack she was going to do is just dash away and just follow up the charge beam. What is still easy to dodge anyway. But in the third phase, she's going to be charging her AoE attack. So you want to go to the left uh, behind you. And then just simply use your whip to get to the other platforms. And just now do the three hit combo in the air again and just follow it up with a full combo to get the most damage in. And now she's just going to do the ground slam three times. So be ready to jump over them. And I'm just going to attack a little bit with the openings when she's attacking and just simply do the perfect dodge on the melee attack or at least I try to. And now she's going to do the ground slam attack again, so be careful and get ready to jump over them. And now just finish her off.
So that is how you beat the Deadly Sin Envy on this apocalyptic difficulty. But guys, that wraps up the video and I thank you for watching. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want more gaming videos like this one, then you could subscribe to the channel. And hit the bell so you don't miss anything. But guys, I wish you success with this boss fight and I also wish you an awesome day. Bye.